Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. In this tutorial video, we learn how to debug an Android web view widget directly from the Chrome browser. You will be able to interact with the web page hosted in our web view from the Google Chrome Developer Console to perform all permitted actions, like modifying HTML, CSS code, website benchmarking, just to name a few. My name is Jero and I'm a mobile developer based in Douala, Cameroon. As you can see, I've already taken the initiative to create a project, but if you would love to code along with this tutorial, you just go to New, just go File, New. And select new project. We select MT activity, MT activity and its corresponding layer file will be auto generated for us. We choose our name, make sure it's got clean, and select finish. After our website has been created and all files built and indexed, we will be presented with our main activity file, which is empty. First things first, we'll go to the layer file and we need to create a web view where we display our web page on it. So Create a web view widget and we want it to match basically the entire skin of the app. So the width will match parent and height match parent. We are in a constraint layer, so we need to constrain it in the view. We'll constrain it to the top, bottom, left, and right. So after being done constraining as web view, we'll give it an ID. Most important, we'll call it web view. Then now we'll go back to the main activity file. So in Kotlin, we can reference the web view directly using its ID. If you're not able to do this, we'll go to the multiple cradle file and make sure you have these two annotations, the Kotlin Android and Kotlin Android extensions. After adding them, you build the project. Then we'll come back to our web web main activity will give our web view a web view client very important because we new web view client like this we'll set the url which will be loaded onto our web view basically for me is the url of my linkedin page or you have my clip and and we'll allow javascript javascript enable to true so the web page will function normally as it is on the browser after doing this let's not forget to give our app internet permission let's go to the manifest we'll go to use this permission and internet permission is the first so thank you to complete close it now let's run our project into an emulator so after running our project into an android emulator and uh, our web url has loaded successfully in our web view we'll go to the google chrome browser in a Google Chrome address bar, we'll type in Chrome, inspect. We'll present with a list of devices here. We we'll just have one device, the name of a device which is an Android emulator, the application ID, and also the website loaded in a web view. Then we'll click inspect. We'll then be taken to the Google Developer Console, where on our left, we'll see the website loaded in a web view, and on the right, we have all the functionalities, same as when you try to inspect and debug a web application on Google Chrome browser. For example, we can select this and change our name to YouTube. And we'll press enter, you can see the change is reflected here. We can also see that the change is reflected on our device. We can also perform other functionalities like networking, reload the web page. On the web view, you can see it's also reloading and many more. So that's it, guys, for the video. Thank you for following the tutorial. And if you like what we do here, subscribe for more mobile development related content. You can also follow me on my social media pages provided in the description below. And I'll gladly hear what you have for me. Don't also forget to like and also share with your friends. Bye bye, and see you in another video.